Surprise, mother Hi everyone, Kim Rigbiato here. I um, decided I'm going to do a little bit of a vlog. Seeing as I actually know from looking at the views and stuff on my YouTube, people seem to like the vlogs, so I'm going to do some vlogging. Um, I might even talk about my blog as well, because I've made um, a new page um, and it's my blog uh, page on Facebook. You can all check it out if you like and I can I can read you some of them. Um, I just think it's good because I think, well, knowing what I'm like when I watch other YouTubers, um, I'd like to know who I'm watching before I get into their videos. So I think doing blogs and stuff like that and kind of these videos kind of helps you to get to know the actual YouTuber and I think it does actually help getting into people's videos so I'll just I'll read you um, I'll read you my last blog post um, okay here's, here it is I feel so different to how I used to be I used to be one of those people that had a negative outlook on almost anything you could possibly think of and had the worst kind of depression imaginable. So there you get to know me a little bit more already. And you wouldn't even believe it when you see me now. I am so proud of myself for coming this far, from almost dying from losing myself, my self-esteem, my worth and my will to live to this brand new, refreshed, sunshine-like, happy and very powerful woman that loves herself, believes in herself and that chases every dream that she has and it's took only three to four years to get this far. Like I said, there are still lots of room for improvements and I will never stop rising. Watch me rise and I will help as many people as I can to rise with me. So, if you go to that... Um, blog page you'll get to know me a lot more as well um the link to my blog is on my youtube it's right when you click on my channel um and it'll be at the top where the cover photo is uh, it's got my blog my um spiritual um one well it's my story page i've called it my story page um and it's got my normal Facebook and my Instagram and my Twitter account. And I've also left a song on that um blog post that um shows you kind of what it felt like as I was going through the process of recovering and rising again. So you've got that. Um I won't read you too much because I don't want to give it all away. Um, but it's also got one of my own songs that I wrote um, one or two years ago now and it's on a video um, on one of my old YouTubes it's not on this YouTube account yet because I, I need to make music still to it because the video I've posted on that blog is me singing a cappella to my own lyrics with no music in the background so it's kind of boring uh, the lyrics are good, it's just, it's better with music for um, a YouTube video. Um, so you've got that to enjoy, especially when I actually get to doing the song in the background, that'd be good. Um, I also post loads of songs like that I relate to, like any, anything that I feel on the inside goes on that blog page. And... As you know, I'm not very good at opening up that well. So me doing that is kind of good, I think. And I think and it, if anyone else has any problems like that and they they find it hard to open up and stuff, they should definitely do the same thing. It will get you opening up a bit more and doing 
meditations on your heart chakra and your sacral chakra will help in that as well. Um, Chris is actually doing um, some editing on something. It looks like he's doing some editing on a music app at the minute. Um, not sure what he's actually doing. But I'm guessing he'll show me later on. Um, he's got his headphones on as well, so he can't hear, really hear me very well. Um, yeah, as you all know, I did a meditation for over three hours yesterday. And then I did um, a sleeping meditation when I went to sleep. Um, and that's definitely helping me. I'm going to do around the same amount of hours today. Uh, yeah, feeling really, really good. It's working. Always does. That's why I always suggest to do it. And you'll feel on top of the world. You'll you'll get a lot more expressive. You'll be able to be as creative as you want to be. You'll have more ideas. You'll feel loved. Everything. Everything that you want you'll get if you meditate so much quicker um i'm just thinking now i'm not used to doing vlogs so i just thought i'd let me think let me think um you should definitely watch my last video that's to help as many people as possible, I give as much advice in that video as possible. Um, and there is going to be a hell of a lot more of them videos coming a lot. Along with my spiritual um, episodes, spiritual journey episodes. And all of them will help you as well. So I definitely suggest watching them as well. Um... I had a good uh, self-loving day yesterday. It um, was very calm. I had a bath uh, to get nice and refreshed, and um, get nice and clean. I love I love being clean. I'm very hygienic. I love um, antibacterial stuff. Um, I was going to do a face mask, but I didn't end up doing that. I just had a bath and then I ended up meditating. For an hour and then another hour and then another hour <laughs> um it's great really uh obviously i know vlogs aren't really that interesting you just kind of get to see what we're like behind closed doors basically so i'm just being myself on these vlog things and I actually really, really do suggest anyone that's watching this video to actually try doing it and you might feel better within yourself, you might get some confidence and it's good to get used to who you are and actually showing people who you actually are without, you know, trying to be someone else, having your own little vibe and your own way of doing things. And you might actually help other people by doing that as well. There's also you doing it and then they'll be like, do you know what, I could do that. I could actually do that. I've seen them do it. And they seem to own it and have confidence doing it. So I'm going to do it. And um, yeah, I'm hoping that these kind of videos do actually help people to get out there and actually, you know, do their own thing and be themselves and, and embrace it and show everyone. It's good. It's good for you. Um, you okay, Grace? What are you doing? Going around circles. What are you actually doing? Going around circles. No, I'm asking you because I'm on video. I'm on video. Well, what's that? Answer me then. Making something from my video. A sound? No. I'm on a music side before. What kind of sound video are you doing? I'm intrigued. Tell me. It's being secretive. No. Hmm. 
fine, whenever you want to know something, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to be like, nope. All for me. No telling. All secretive. Yeah. That's what I'm going to be like the next time you want to know anything. Everyone else will get to find out before you. <laughs> um, as you can tell, it can be difficult at times and very awkward. So, yeah. I'm kind of used to it, though. Um... I've just decided to pop my own hair. I do end up doing this, don't know when I'm on camera. I think I've done this on a few of my videos, or maybe one. And this is going to be the second one, because I get bored of just, like, sitting there with me. Not doing anything. What's happened there? Oh, well. I'll leave that. Ah. <sighs> It's, it's quite a good day. We went um, out yesterday because Chris likes rain. So we went and sat outside in the rain. And, um, yeah, I got a, a pain in my hip, so I had to move. <laughs> and I'm okay with rain. I like rain sometimes, but it depends what kind of rain it is, if that makes sense. I can't really explain it. And it also depends if I'm walking or not. I don't like just sitting in it. Because it's kind of a... You know. Not that fun. Um, but he likes it. So I went and sat outside with him anyway. What was I going to say? Uh Well, this one's ended up very different to the other one, hasn't it? I'm just, I'm just plaiting my hair. Randomly plaiting my hair. Well, that's what vlogging uh, does, isn't it? You just randomly post videos of yourself doing your normal everyday thing, so... Yeah. I can't exactly video myself meditated, can I? That would be a very, very boring watch. <laughs> very, very boring, it would. Um, and I just want to talk about thumbnails as well. YouTube thumbnails, because I'm not used to doing thumbnails. And everyone always says you should um, create some thumbnails for your YouTube. And I don't know, to me it kind of looks like a bit fake when I'm doing a thumbnail so I'm gonna do some videos where it's not like got the um, creative thumbnail where I put pictures together and stuff and so some of them are gonna be like this where you can just see me in the video um, because I don't want to come across as fake or like I'm clickbaiting people because it's not me um, and yeah, please tell me what you prefer. Um, if you prefer me to make creative thumbnails for all the videos, then I will do that. Or if you prefer me to, you know, do a, a normal video with no creative thumbnail where it just picks a picture at random, then I'll do that. I'm ha I'd happy to oblige to whatever my audience likes. <sighs> as long as. It fits with my way of being. That's fine. Um, yeah, my hair definitely doesn't want to stay plaited. I just wanted to do something different today and straighten my hair just to see how long it would be and stuff. And yeah, um, for the fact I actually cut my hair myself I don't think I don't think my hair's that bad I don't trust hairdressers I really don't trust hairdressers I was a hairdresser myself but every hairdresser I've been to 
at the hairdressers, they end up cutting off about this much of your hair when all you ask for, you ask them to cut off about this much and then they go and cut all that. And it's like, I didn't ask for that. I asked you to cut this much. An inch. You call that an inch. <laughs> they're, they're literally terrible when you go to the hairdressers. I don't think I've met a hairdresser that doesn't take too much off your hair. Hence why I do my own. I'd rather keep my hair, thank you very much. <laughs> I did enjoy hairdressing, but it got kind of boring because everyone like talks a lot of crap in hairdressers when you go in there to get your hair done or you go in there and you're doing someone's hair. Like, I was doing someone's hair once when I was doing hairdressing and I don't know, everything that came out of the mouth was like, this is really boring. This is really boring conversation. <laughs> I couldn't understand how boring a con someone could be. And, yeah, I'm not even the judgmental of types, but I'd ra when I go into work, I'd rather actually do the work, not talk not really a place where I enjoy talking when I'm trying to concentrate on doing the hair properly and then they're like talking about really girly fake things and as you can tell I'm not exactly one of those kind of people if anyone relates to me please do tell me and then we can be like yay but no fakes I don't like fake <laughs> I hate it. Fake goes through me. It's like, why so fake? <laughs> uh, um, I enjoyed the cutting when I did when I did hairdressing though, and the dyeing and bleaching hair. I was good at cutting. I did it perfectly straight all the time, and it didn't take me that long. If you go into a course of hairdressing, especially with Terence Ball, they, they literally throw you in the deep end and get you cut in hair straight away. Thankfully, I was good at it, so no problems went there. I still got bored of the course, though, and just kind of just left just before I had the exam because I, I knew I was good at it anyway. I'd not made any mistakes. I'd done loads of people's hair. I was like, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm going bye-bye now. <laughs> um... It could be your thing. Any any of you out there could want to be a hairdresser. And just because I found it boring, because of most most because of the conversations, then don't you know, listen to me, just go and do it anyway. It's fun doing the hair part. It's just not so fun with the conversations. And the distractions in there. It's not so fun. <sighs> But you get to be really creative in there as well. And you have to get like a um, doll's head to practice on before you go on people's hair. That's quite funny. You can do loads of daft hairstyles and yeah. Um, I'm so confused as to what Chris is doing. Like really badly. It can't be. I'm not sure. He's doing a video, so I don't understand. I'm really nosy, as you can tell. I'm like one of the one of those. I, I want to know what he's doing all the time. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so I, I get to like join in and yeah, I might join in with everything. But anyway, I don't want to bore everyone, so I might uh, bid the affair well in a moment. One second, I'm just just to make this video a little bit more fun. Wait a minute! <laughs> I 
I got these the other day. So I've got like loads of party hats and these. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for watching and toodaloo motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>